what was it about this production that drew you in? So I think an easy answer, Dominique, was that I wanted to bring it back because I had danced it myself and um, I, I really had a wonderful time performing it and I thought it was a really good production. But I also knew that this was a seminal production for Northern Ballet that um, is something many companies do, Romeo and Juliet, but I think nobody does it quite like Northern Ballet. This production is really special. This has been a real effort from the old company. As you say, the production was damaged in, in a flood and was brought back from the sets to the costumes uh, the technical director, Wilkie, decided to keep the original production, although it was completely ruined, because we had no drawings. At the time, there were no drawings. So we used the damaged set as a model to make the new one. Then it looks like the original, but in HD. Now, I really like that, because it's like the original, and, but better. And I, I hope people then have seen it. Many years ago, when it was last performed, will agree with us, then it looks as good as before and possibly even a bit more. You have danced many versions of Romeo and Juliet, so I'm sure you have played Romeo in very different ways. Sitting on the other side of the room, coaching five different couples, how have you found it's been to bring out their interpretation of the role? I think this is one of the best parts of uh, my job, you know, um, helping you and, and the other cast develop um, and portray your character and, and bring out the dance, bring out the story. This is something that I really enjoy. And as you say, I've danced many versions of Romeo and Juliet, so I have some experience of, of portraying that role. Each choreography is slightly different. You need to listen to what the choreographer, to what the production is telling you to do. I feel like we made quite a few changes right towards the end, which is difficult sometimes because it's close to the show, but it was a very intense and worthwhile moment. I believe. I always wanted to um, try to recapture the essence, the original uh, feeling of that production when it was created in 1991. Uh, because I think he had something really raw and special and I was really keen that uh, then, we, then we are able to reproduce it on our stages now. There are many scenes where it's actually people and telling a story with no words but without being ballet dancers, in a sense. There are lots of jumps, lots of spins. Mercutio is spinning throughout the ballet, and uh, so there is ballet for sure, and is a, an acting, storytelling uh, performance. Um, and, and, and the result has been really beautiful. Opening night of Romeo and Juliet was another experience I'll never forget. Um, were you able to enjoy the performance? I did. I really enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I was really nervous. I mean, every big ballerina from Northern Ballet has danced this production and they've all done it in their, their own way. And I watched many versions and I was really like, for there was a, a period of time I felt I can't I can't do it, you know? I'll never live up to that, um, the women that were before me. What changed? How did you, because you, you did it, you were incredible, you were excellent. Oh, thank How you. How did you get there? The incredible support of, you know, Joe is such a great partner. Um, when I was up on the balcony at the very top of the show, in the wings, there was a whole group of market people going, you've got this. <laughs> and I thought, I felt so united as a company and that's why I felt like the production went so well.